What's going on guys? It's your motivation guy. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back to inspire you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life, man. Never settle, never settle. Always try to improve, always try to get better. Constantly grind, constantly train, constantly say, you know what, I'm gonna get better in this game. I'm gonna get better in this area of my life. And, and that's it, man. We're constantly improving. We're constantly going to the next level. So I wanna encourage you to keep going. So trying to stay ahead of the mechanical curve in Fortnite, man, it is darn difficult. Yeah, I just said the word Don, that is actually my second favorite word. My first favorite word is actually Bunch of Crunch. Yes, I know there's two words, but anyways, you know, you can have high game sense and you can even have good rotational knowledge, but you know, if you're not dominating your fights, you know, that's, that's a, like a whole nother issue. You're not gonna win in arena and you're not gonna win in any tournament. So in this video, we wanna give you guys some good strategies, man, some good techniques on building and editing that's gonna help you guys dominate everybody you come across. Speaking of dominating in-game, all right, if you wanna learn from the best and get exclusive access to content from top-tier pros, along with access to 24-7, guys, pro coaching. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Just thinking about it, like, that's blowing my mind right now, right? Consider checking out ProGuys.com, where we have all of this and a lot more, all right? And also, we like to make a special announcement to everybody, all right? We're announcing that Pro Guys has now opened a brand new community discord server if you're looking for gameplay tips and advice a place to find players to play with or just a chill place to hang out head on to the description to find the server which has all of this and more yeah pretty exciting all right guys so with this out of the way yo let's get straight into the first technique So this first technique we call the Stretch 180, and it's used pretty often by Liquid Stretch, one of the top pros in the Fortnite competitive scene. All right, so first we're gonna show you the clip of Stretch using it, then we're gonna break it down step by step so you can, you know, you can do it yourself. Take a look. All right guys, so what we wanna focus on right here is this 180 degree turn that Stretch does. But instead of like turning normally and just leaving himself exposed, you know, to both the front and above, he places an extra wall above his 180, allowing him to stay covered until he reaches the top of his turn without even sacrificing any speed. This technique is pretty simple, but you know, it can have a profound impact in your fights. So to do this, the process is pretty simple. So just simply build up like it's a normal 180 and jump up to build, but instead of placing ramp against the first wall you build up like you normally would move your crosshair up higher so the extra wall places just around the peak of your jump then place your ramp like normal and continue up all right so from here and i mean like right here you have multiple options right either use this covered 180 as a base to just perform more retakes or simply edit through to go straight for high ground overall this technique is not only you know pretty simple it's easy to perform with a bit of practice but it's also going to help you guys out a bunch right like a bunch of crunch when you're on low ground trying to push up but anyways with that being said let's move right into the second technique you guys ready let's go so this next technique is one that a lot of people you know especially like really good players have been using lately called the wall block this example we're gonna be using is straight from a fight from the controller legend scoped all right so it's a pretty simple move but really effective so we can see how the other player you know ramps over scope most of us would just simply place a cone on top right but the issue with this is you know allows the opponent to side jump or just continue cranking instead scope places a wall straight through the player's ramp to block them off closer and basically get rid of any chance they have of getting the high ground so this comes down to a fundamental tip to use walls instead of cones at times right sometimes Sometimes, you know, a cone is better, especially when your opponent is already right under it and can't simply just side jump out, or better yet, if you can just simply box them up. But if your opponent ramps over you, but hasn't yet gotten onto the ramp, this is a super easy way, guys, just to stop them in their tracks and just really take the high ground with ease. All right, guys, so third up is a technique from a big Fortnite YouTuber named Martaz who's known for having an absolute ton of arena points and generally like being a really, really good player. As of like right now, he has just about 50,000 arena points. Yeah, I said 50,000. And uh, it might be more by the time you're even watching this video. All right, so basically, this technique allows you to just phase yourself through a ramp on an opponent pushing you from above. Make them think like you're under it, right? And hit them with an easy, clean shot to the face. 
All right, so to do this, the process is pretty simple, right? First, your opponent has to be pushing you from above, preferably trying to break your cone and floor. Simply position yourself just about 70% of the way back on the floor of your box. The ramp should be phasing through your upper back or neck area. From here, and I mean like right here, just simply place the ramp facing your opponent and edit through to what should be a free shot on a confused opponent. So from right here, like you can just simply just crouch down to avoid any possible return fire. And that's really it. This technique requires a decent amount of precision, but it can ultimately be done by players of almost all skill levels. All right, so this next technique is sort of like another high ground retake sort of technique, right? But it's very unique in the fact that it's quite possibly like one of the most coveted building techniques in the entire game. Not only is it pretty quick in terms of speed, but it also covers you extremely well and allows for a number of options to just continue building up or simply just hop into battle right after you finish this technique. All right, so to perform this, the process is pretty simple. Begin building up and just do a normal 180 degree turn and build an extra ramp out with a cone on top from right over here. All right. So just simply build walls all around, you know, just three of your sides in this sort of fashion and catch yourself with the ramp and floor below you, along with the ramp above just to cover yourself from above. All right, now, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I gotta be real, this technique is definitely not easy. It really isn't. It's gonna take a quite a bit of practice, especially, you know, if you play on a controller or a very low sensitivity. Getting all the builds down properly is pretty difficult, but this is honestly like one of the best techniques for retaking high ground safely. So, you know, once you finish up the actual covered 180 you have a number of options you can either like edit out and just crank 90s ramp out you know to the side and continue building up or do basically anything else that you can imagine <laughs> the versatility is definitely one of the best parts of this technique and you know whether you're really looking for a technique that looks nice and creative or if you just want a safe way to retake height in real games this technique is a great all-arounder right that you should definitely have in your arsenal Now, I'm gonna be completely real, cause I'm your motivation guy, that's what I gotta do, all right? This technique is amazing, yo, and it's super useful in build fights and game fights or basically anything else, but this one is a real challenge, man. All right, guys, strap your boots on, you know, tie them up, you know what I mean, your laces up, because it's about to get real, <laughs> right? We're about to really run through the mud on this one. All right, so this technique is called the Thawaifo Cone Side Jump. And well, the name basically, you know, says really all there is to say, but essentially like what we're really doing right here is at the waifu cone, right? But turning it into something resembling a 90 and doing a protected side jump off of this, the waifu cone to push up for high ground quickly, you know, while staying covered. So to perform this technique, guys, all right, start off in a normal scissor ramp, right? Like any other time you're building up and then just throw up at the waifu cone and jump while you're doing this, catching yourself on a ramp facing the sidewall from over here. All right, move your crosshair up to the side of the cone and place this wall through the cone. Then perform a normal elevated side jump, catching yourself on a ramp. That's it for this technique itself. Then you can just choose whether you want to perform more side jumps or just continue with another retake pattern or simply just like 90 or just 180 up and just push for height. You could even just string this one with the stretch 180 we showed earlier to form a pretty nice combo. All right guys, so one quick tip for this technique is that timing is everything. It really is. Like you're gonna need to time this first jump very precisely and your build placements as well. My number one tip for this technique is to first be able to actually perform this technique within this string so that the covered elevated side jump and the waifu cone, you know, and then practice, practice, and practice this combo over and over, right? Especially with difficult techniques like this, it's gonna take a lot of time and repetition to get good with it. Again, we gotta practice. That's what we gotta do. All right, so if you're a Fortnite OG, you might recognize the name TSM Daquan. Who knows him? <laughs> All right, so if you know Daquan, you know, who's one of like of the OG Fortnite streamers who basically took the entire community by storm with his hilarious commentary, you might recognize this phrase, give me them toes. Never! Give me them toes! Oh, not my toes, man, come on, bruh. All right, so this next technique will allow you to bring out this TSM Daquan give me them toes energy within you, all right? In all seriousness, this technique is basically a modified version of the Mongrel Classic, which allows you to get an easy shot at your opponent's legs while they can't even see you. 
Okay, so <laughs> while this isn't like the best way to hit a nasty 200 damage pump shot, I get it. You can easily hit for 100 or more with basically no risk at all. And performing this technique is surprisingly as simple. All you gotta do is first take the wall and edit like you would for a normal Mongo Classic. Place the ramp in your opponent's box and open your edit menu. Whichever side your opponent is on is the side you should start your crosser at. Now select the tile closest to you on the side your opponent is on in the box and edit either an L-shaped staircase or a full spiral staircase. Okay, so from right here, and I mean like right here, could form the edit and your opponent is gonna get stuck right under your ramp. At this point, man, you're gonna have a completely free shot on your opponent's toes, <laughs> and you're gonna be serving Daquan's legacy very well. All right, so what I love about this technique personally is like how simple it is to perform, along with how easy it is to really get off damage off with little to no risk of return fire, especially if you're the fastest mechanical player. Techniques like these where you're mostly safe and you know, you can't really be easily countered, this is gonna be your best friend when you're fighting in game. But overall, we really hope these six techniques really help you guys out. Hop into a creative and get on the grind, guys. Remember like that any time that you're trying to learn a trick or technique, time and repetition are the only ways to really truly master what you're trying to do, right? You gotta put in the time. And just to be great, not only in this game and also in life, man, you have to just know that sacrifice, that, you know, blood, sweat, tears, man, you're gonna have to put into this thing, man. You know, like really working out, really training, really getting into this. And your desires, I promise, will come true. But you have to put in the time. I believe in you guys, so keep going. Never give up. Make sure your mind is positive. Make sure you're positive. And I'm telling you, you're going to do some great things in this life, man. I'm telling you, I believe in you. Make sure to connect to me in my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yo, make sure you guys like, subscribe, you know, share with your friends because we got so much going on. Make sure to use code pro guys in the item shop because it just really, really helps us out. All right, guys, we're going to see you soon. Peace.